love. Much love. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see the Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Mama has been waiting for you by the sewer. Seamus, look happy. I think we did a good job. Good thing together. Scratchy, scratchy. The uh, all right, let's have another attempt at this. Can we? No, not from there, we can't. Push the keyboard and mouse a minute. <laughs> oh! Damn it. Yeah. You gotta be dead on. Yeah, I only made one attempt at it. <clears throat> and I bet you, uh, I bet you nailed it as well, didn't you? Nope. And well, because I, I I didn't know that it was uh I didn't know it was a, a achievement. achievement. But but I was like, that's too convenient to not be an achievement. And I hit it and it it almost went in and bounced out and went to the right there from the garbage and I'm like, okay, whatever. And I just went on. I was like, maybe I'll come back to that. But yeah, it, and then after uh, I finished playing. I looked at the achievements just to see, and I saw that that was one of them. Slam dunk, I think it's called. But uh, yeah, I never went back and got it. So missing number eight and number five on the sheet music. Um, the guy here, though, just basically said, "You're not coming back to this area. So, are you sure you're done with everything?" So, um, yeah, it looks yeah. like we're leaving the slums and not coming back at this point. We're going to go and meet Momo on a boat. Oh, oh you're actually doing that. Okay, that's different. Different than what I did. Yeah, that, I didn't. I didn't do that until later. Okay. Not well, I mean, I, there, I'm not really sure there was much else to do story-wise. Uh, no. Films, so. Uh, and even though, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, well, there's no way to say anything without giving away things, but alrighty then. I believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this now we can find Balth Balthazar. Let's go. Let's go. Meow. <laughs> The sewers. Kind of got portal vibes from that. Uh, those sewers there on the uh, the right hand side. Yeah. 
incinerate a room where you pick up the portal gun in Portal 2. Yeah, I got I got different vibes from different games, different areas. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's intentional because just hearing you talk about it kind of confirms that to me. Nika's getting infra vibes. Infra. I'm pretty sure I have that game. Uh, yeah, it's the walking simulator about the uh, the uh, all the dams and the buildings were collapsing in different bits and pieces, and you just walk around with your camera taking pictures of stuff. Let's uh, see. I think you end up at the power plant in the end of it. I think, if I remember rightly. Let me search my library. Infra, yep, there it is. Uh, I have two hours in it. Yeah. Where is your team spent? Uh, donated it to the channel, to be fair. I don't remember. It's just like camera. It's like battery simulator. You're all the time walking around looking for batteries. Yeah, 25 gigs. Yeah, the last time I played it was according to Steam, July the 11th, 2017. <laughs> yeah, 100, 117 minutes instead of uh, 1.9 hours, like we would say now. Yeah, you're, you're kind of playing this like I did. Circle strats. Yeah, uh, I made sure to kind of just get rid of everything, just just to not have to worry about it. And I I got I got more patient in this area in the upcoming areas other areas, certain areas, uh, you know, areas and areas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the uh, head crabs in the water. Well, Half-Life 2 didn't have that. Or did they? It did. We're all waiting to jump down. Red screen of death. Oh, yeah, okay. Forgot about this part. My most jumped off, and now we have to uh, row the boat. <laughs> yep. Whoopsie. Looks like the vault door's broken. Well, our machinery is broken now. I think we, I think we can open it manually. That's right, Mickey. Yeah, I remember now. Hey, crazy! What's going on? How you doing? Quick, crazy attack. jump below the door. It won't hold for long. The game is going. I can't go with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Balthazar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. Goodness, this is like proper alien isolation vibes now. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, you no longer have a homie. 
Oh, he wasn't helping too much. Yeah, he, he, uh, he, he did all that paddling for you. He was only riding the boat. That's what I'm saying. That was quite the effort. Yeah, but the fact that there's no uh, no water, he can't row a boat, I don't need his help anymore, so... Well... You know... Maybe he could have done something else. No, nah, glad, glad you enjoyed your... Uh... What are they? Crazy? Oh, uh, your vacation? No, it's holiday. Okay, well, I've never had a holiday then. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't kill those. I, I just, they were on the roof. Saw no, yeah, I saw no need to kill any of those. I avoided them. Oh. Just, hi. They don't, they don't come after you. Well, I didn't want to take that risk, so. Well, that was your decision. <laughs> I take risks, so I didn't bother. <laughs> a risk taker. I, I, I'm the kamikaze. Now uh, in a room, it's kamikaze style. Oh, I only have 20 bullets left. Let me enter this room with. 40 uh, enemies and see if I can take them out. <laughs> <laughs> and they each take like 27 bullets to kill. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> well, crap, it didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? <laughs> you know, I have to go about it a different way? Okay. Yeah, trying to break games without even trying to break games. No, holiday is a particular day designated for a certain event. Vacation is a particular time designated for your own uh Pleasantries. Signal the American crazy. It's fine. <laughs> he eventually he eventually shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean and and in the US holiday and vacation are two distinctly different things. Like, like I said yesterday, uh, why did it come up again anyway? But uh, like I said yesterday, here, holiday is Easter, Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, President's Day, whatever it may be, and they're on they're on specific some on some are specific days of a specific month and some are like uh like thanksgiving is always on the whatever like the third thursday in november or some yeah. crap like that like where it's not a specific day it just it's, yeah it's, it's a bit like um but yeah vacation is just simply when here vacation only means that you're going somewhere or you can have stay staycation with you know vacation stay at home uh relax that sort of thing or but a true a true vacation would be like you, you go somewhere like to the beach or what have you <clears throat> hold on i got a phone call I'm coming. Whose phone is ringing? Mine, mine, mine. Can you, can you come down? Where am I okay. meant to oh. be going here? 
That's what I was trying not to do. Right. Okay, so yeah, I'll, I'll lay enough. You went about it more... Uh, more like I normally would. Well, the strategic approach didn't really uh, pay off. I was trying to be stealthy and stay away from these eggs, but... Clearly. Didn't work. I suppose I have to do it because... Oh my goodness, what on earth is this? That was funny. It's a the cautious uh, approach. And, and kill, killed every single one of them off little by little. Not, not with this area. I did exactly what you're doing right now to that area. That was just too easy to not run through. Yeah, your um, like thanks. Going back to the holiday conversation, like your Thanksgiving is very similar to our um, like bank holidays that we have. Yeah, of course you um, wouldn't celebrate Independence Day. I mean, our Independence Day was from y'all. <laughs> you know, because we whooped y'all's ass, crazy. We, we were British. We just left and said we don't believe in what you want. And, the ancestors, and then, then we had everybody from around the world come here. Oh, I can't see. Giant on the wall. Uh, yeah, this this was fun. I thought it was uh, nice enough. I won't mad at it. Alexa, notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping, Bluetooth earpiece. Okay. Yeah, that was something I sent my mom to try out. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it ain't that... You can't jump that far, buddy. They're not gonna allow it to be that easy. Nobody said it was easy. That's a good song. No one ever said it would be this hard. I'll take was... me back to the start. Uh, it, it was better with the actual singers but like, hey. okay <laughs> just trying to say you don't like my Coldplay impression 
<laughs> uh, in a yeah, way, it's it definitely got um, horror vibes to it in places, Mika. Yeah, that section you just did. Yeah, it, it, totally the opposite. Like normally, I would just go like balls out, run. I just took my time and uh, ousted everyone. Oh my goodness me. What the actual hell is all this? Boss fight. Yeah, crazy. When we became independent. The Reynolds were still all the same people, though. Uh -oh. To finish. You can't be twelve. What are you doing? Uh -oh. I'm talking about B twelve is kicking ass. Kicking ass. Kicking ass and not worrying about taking names. Yeah, that's definitely a dog. It's a little puppy. Oh well, yeah, Cat is definitely the protagonist. Uh, th there's no specific antagonist in the cycle. Try those onions. Boom. Nicely done. Almost dead. Yeah, that's. I say that part, that's what I did. I just ran. Uh. Some of the parts where normally I would have ran and did whatever. You did that and I didn't. I did the knock way and you did the death wish way. <laughs> it was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the middle. Well, you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power is rough on my core. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Great. I don't have a <laughs> weapon there. Thanks for that, B12. I want on you, dude. Well, you wouldn't be there if you hadn't done that, so you saved your ass. Back to ventilation system. This game about? It's about a cat. That's because you're way past, like, you're past the halfway point of the game. So you wouldn't understand the story. Yeah. I would suggest just look uh, look it up on Steam or Google, whatever, and read the synopsis. That, that. Hey, oh. there's the little. No, you know. There's the little symbol about people. Yeah. Looking for. Hey, we made it out the sewers. <laughs> Aladdin. The, the evil version of Aladdin. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier? The little outsider? Elsa, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Safe zone. Yeah, I'll just say read the... Read the synopsis of... Uh, on, their, on their store page.
This machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. Some like cryogenic freezers or something. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years until a little cat appeared. You are the scientist. Was it me? It was me. I was a scientist. I was human. Ah, okay. I I need a moment. All right. So interestingly, so okay. It seems like um, AIs then are potentially, or potentially were all humans at one point, and then um, they uploaded their memories into the robots, which is interesting. Do you need this paint? Sorry. I'm sorry, I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. I suppose that's what that's I guess that would explain why a lot of the um robots like have like parts when the cat meows because obviously humans are crazy about cats and if they're all kind of like human if they were all previously humans and they're um, um they've uploaded their selves into some form of ai and robots then I suppose that would uh, explain a lot why they're so uh, friendly towards the cat. Yeah, I mean, uh, I took it a little differently, <laughs> but... Achievement uh, unlocked. Catastrophe. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to play some Mahjong. Yeah. Uh, typical cat. Like, you're playing a game where you're on your computer and jump through it. <laughs> jump through it on it but then when you then when you want to pet your cat they're like fuck you and scratch you and stuff yeah it's it's a cat yeah Right, it's a bit awkward at the minute because I can't actually talk to anybody because um, E12 is having a bit of a moment. It's a very plant that we can take at some point. I think uh, Crazy Knock can answer that. Yeah, so basically, at the start of the game, we, um, we, we are with three other cats, and then we kind of fall down. A, we, we have a little bit of an accident. We fall down somewhere into this uh, derelict world below. And um, it seems like all the humans are... I've gone, and uh, we're currently just sort of trying to find our way back to the surface, so to speak, and uh, working with some of these robots along the way, who are now the inhabitants of this place for whatever reason, which we don't fully understand and know why at the moment.
have a scratch. Quite annoying not being able to talk to anybody at the minute. that they did this you know, they, they didn't like ever do certain mechanics what else I have think, I gotten uh, I was going to say I think they they could have done more friends, what happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city but is there even anyone left to save Still just want to talk. Sorry, what were you saying about the mechanics, Deathwish? Uh. I feel like they didn't overdo them. Yeah, I actually, uh, as I was talking my thoughts out loud, uh, I think there's some mechanics they use that uh, they could actually use more of, and yeah. and made uh, and made some a, a little more a puzzle. And it, the game it's not really a puzzle game, even though there is sort of you know technically puzzles, like which route do I need to take, how do I need to go about it, even though it's. It's a can kill you kind of puzzle. Uh, still a puzzle. What is yeah, this? Crazy. Yeah, the graphics is graphics are nice. It, to me, it, like artistically, it just works. What is this? Uh, they not remember that. That. What? Is that a question, or are you telling me to actually remember something? You never know. Hey, uh, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcend, transcend, transcendental meditation? Transcendental. Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received the call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with the Outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you help, Doc, help find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one that can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Yeah, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous, de dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be ver the very first. I'd like to wish you luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Uh, it's not the same developer as Outer Wilds, I Mika, mean, it's just the same publisher. Sorry for shutting down earlier. Yeah? I'm human, probably the last time, last in the world. Now. Look, for, look what now looks what's left to me. So much has come to me. How much have I, have I forgotten? <laughs> find Clemency and we can restore my memories and get back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more about the companions or head out onward to Midtown. I know we can talk to people. Let's um, talk to people. Go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. Go to the top of our village and find the path to reach Midtown.
Oh, there's nowhere else to go here at the minute. No through road there. Food is actually horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. Where are you even putting it? People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, ramen J45 with my secret ingredient. J45, isn't that electrical? Something electrical? Pretty sure it is. I can't even if you. Uh, that, that's an amazing uh, mechanism there because. Yeah, we had things like that, and that, that's how elevators actually work. I mean, to a point. But uh, the bag just weighs just enough to keep the um, the bucket suspended in air, so that any other weight in that bucket makes it fall to the ground. Genius. Yeah, even after the cat comes out of it. Yeah. It, it just went, it automatically knows to go all the way down. <laughs> Imagine if we can harness their power, having them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. I think it might be onto something. When I grew up, I want to be great like Aunt Clementine. I want to explore like she did, but the grown ups. Grown -ups Forbade us to leave Ant Village. Forbade? Is that a word? Yeah, forbade. Like forbid, or kind of like uh, forbid, but uh, like you, you forbade them to do something. You said they couldn't do it. weren't allowed. weren't allowed to forbid it. Somebody look that up, see if that's true. <laughs> Sixthly, I should have won at least eight times. Sorry, my bad. Okay, they don't want to talk to me now. Can't imagine why. Did you know there are nine, more than 900 shades of white paint? I'm telling you one, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. I'm sure it'll be a hit with a name like that. Oh. May is in her deconstructive peri constructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'd be a great artist. If only she could practice somewhere else. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. <laughs> Sorry I ruined your game, guys. Oh, they don't care. They, they got it set up uh, exactly where they left off, so... But yeah, I guess it's not like they're struggling to remember where all the tiles went. I'm guessing a computer would be pretty darn capable of doing that. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. What are you talking about, Crazy? I was a bellbot. 
many cycles ago, but I've repurposed myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I just found. Poor fellow, may he rest in peace. There's a... Uh, this is a lot of those... Um, I think I can focus a lot of the Chinese cat things around. I mean, granted, we're playing a game about a cat, but even still. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> okay. Now we can go and get the purple flower. Yeah, crazy. Uh, destroyed aperture. Well known. Uh, knock was originally going to be a, a voice on it, and then things changed. Yeah, I'm I a, just uh, I'm a, I'm a play tester. I think Mark's a play tester. Yeah, well, I've, of course. I've, I think I've played it about three or four times, possibly. I've played it more than that, but I didn't I didn't record all all of them. So. But yeah, uh, so yep, uh, crazy. We we definitely know about the story of <laughs> Nine thousand five hundred thirty-six games, one to six. Don't tell anybody. I'm actually programmed to win at this game. And what happened to the other six? <laughs> oh. It's uh, programming. <laughs> That's how much lag there is. You said no to the time I start laughing. All right, so we've got these two flowers. I don't know what we can do with them. Most catch religious items that is relating to Buddhism uh, are representing peace and well-being to its owner. Usually they are only in restaurants and bars and in some shops. Yeah, that's uh, certainly seen them in uh, Chinese restaurants. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, so sorry, crazy. Uh, uh, I, I wasn't on my game tonight. <laughs> yeah, they're. I mean, they're pretty much almost done. I mean, for the most part. Uh, I think um, COVID is like small like number of people. It. Yeah, you say what? COVID. Um, Delayed it quite some, I believe. Uh, not just that, I think because it's like been going on for a few years and things have been happening in people's lives as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, I know about a lot of that. And, yeah, it, it, it went south when, yeah, they lost a lot of people and then yada yada yada, kind of starting back from scratch. Uh, I mean, not really starting from scratch, but yeah, team-wise, starting from scratch. So yeah, anyway. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know the whole story. Uh, if if they release it, if they don't, uh, I was happy to have been able to play the maps, at least most of them. So I, you know, I hope they release it because I mean it. 
because you know it deserves uh, recognition. There's an insane amount of work put into it, and the puzzles I think are fantastic, but not ever anybody that likes the game. It's not it's not going to be over their head. Some will definitely be harder than others. Oh, I'm pretty confident that they'll, they'll release it. Yeah, uh, I think so too, but man, uh, no, no guarantees in a way. Yellow, red, and purple. <clears throat> If only someone small and agile could get them. <laughs> All right, so I need to find the yellow plant. I've I got a sneaking suspicion about something, but I'm not sure. I'll, have to, I'll keep that one to myself for now. See you later, Mika. Thanks for hanging, dude. We're not going to be going for much longer myself, um, I'm honest. So uh, have a good weekend. We'll catch you on the other side, dude. Thank you as always for hanging. Good night, Maker. Have a good one. Until next time. <laughs> just love that whole cat vibe with the where they use the side paw head nudge different things for knocking stuff off yep you uh like the they just they just know hey adam what's going on Crazy's uh, fully embraced the, uh, the French for his holiday. We <laughs> oui, oui, much sure. Yeah, Cat Griddle too is that would be like the biggest game ever. You got cats, you got portal. Uh, and it, if, if you added any any other thing to it, it would just melt the universe. I think this is the way I need to go. Well, there's Oops. one thing you already know about this game. Is that you, you're it's linear, but like in places like this, uh, you can do different things, yada yada yada, and go different places and stuff. But uh, to finish the game, you need to do very little of, of everything that's possible. You like riding in buckets. Who doesn't? That's what I I often do at, at the weekend. I've got nothing else to do. I'm like, what can I, I wonder what I can do. Oh, I know. Jump in a bucket. Yeah, well, I mean, why wouldn't you? You see a bucket hanging from a string. I mean, first thought, jump into it. I mean, exactly. if you've not jumped into a bucket, you haven't lived. Seriously. Yes. It, uh, I, well, I have to say I haven't, but it's on my bucket list. And a new badge. It's the plant badge. That's what I always wanted. Well, I just killed y'all with that joke, and man, I felt defeated. Did you not get the joke? Or... 
I'll, I'll be honest, I was only half listening. Yeah, I mean, that's... I, I, I get that. The last thing I, I comprehended was something about... We were talking about buckets, spending time in the buckets at the end. Yeah. And then I was like, you know, yada, yada, yada. I, I have that on my bucket list. Ah. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional comedian during the off hours. <laughs> Hire me for your next uh, camp out for backyard barbecue. Yeah, I'll. Uh, don't worry, I'll. I'll rush to book you for uh, next week. <laughs> hey. I travel to any country, anywhere, and it, no matter what, it's 1995 plus tipping and handling. More All right, guys. Well, on the handling, I think that's um, <laughs> going to be a good place to leave it for tonight. So, um, yeah, as always, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Been a blast as always, Deathwish. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and yeah, it's been a pleasure. Had a blast, and uh, we'll be back on Monday night to uh, carry on our adventure, our cat adventure. Um, memory-wise, we're at about fifty. We were at fifty-five percent, so uh, well over halfway through the game, I think. Well, I don't know. I'll say that uh, the memory thing, I think it just depends on if you find them. It, it's not really telling you how far you are in the game. Because you could ignore every single one of them and you would be at zero. Yeah, but these, um, more to the point, these, these top ones I noticed, like the orange ones, they seem to be key to the story. Um, yeah. As opposed to like these blue ones, which seem a bit more optional. So, there are a lot of, yeah, that, well, there's, the way I see it, there's no way you can do it wrong. Like, if you just played it, like, uh, you had no clue how video games, and you just played it doing absolutely nothing other than what, what you need it, you know, to progress. I mean, just minimal to get. Uh, you know, to progress. So I don't know. Uh, crazy to answer your question. Yeah, I, I we, we probably will do. Um, we will do playthroughs of them as and when they come out. Um, but yeah, um, I, I won't. Nobody watches my videos. I'll, I, I'll leave it not. I, I watch your videos. I always watch your videos. I like uh, to, uh, I like to criticize and leave you. Comments oh, no, no, I said they don't. Only, <laughs> uh, only you do. So, yeah. I, even if I don't leave a comment and stuff, I, I watch yours. So. Alright guys, well, as always, thank you very much for hanging in, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be, like I said, we'll be back on Monday night to carry on our feline adventure. Um, hopefully you can join us. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much, have a great weekend. And until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, take care, stay safe, happy gaming. Bye, guys.